If you're ever wondering what I'm doing when I'm not doing YouTube, it's this. This is a pet toy holder and Stanley deemed it his. He also deemed the turkey pan his a long time ago that I brought home for Thanksgiving. So if you were wondering, Stanley is always at my feet in his little container. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we are bringing it back to basics and doing a mainly one eyeshadow look. So I have been posting a lot of videos using the Tati palette, which can be a little intimidating, a little complex. The shadows are pigmented, there's a lot of glitter. So I wanted to take it back to basics and create a one eyeshadow look, which is what we're doing today. So quick backstory this morning. I had a bunch of different palettes out. I had a bunch of different brushes out. I was trying to come up with a really complex holiday look for you guys and it just wasn't working for me. I was getting so frustrated. I took my makeup off several times, put it back on. My eyes were red. I was frustrated. I was about to put all my makeup away and say screw it. And then I said, you know what, Brittany? Take your own advice, bring it back to basics, use one shadow and create a bomb look, which is what we've got going on today. I perfected the skin, I put on a pretty pink lip, and we are good to go. So like I said, this is one cream eyeshadow and then I'm topping it off with a glitter, which you don't have to do. I'm just kind of elevating it to the next level for those of you who want to elevate it to the next level. And then I'm adding a liner and that is it. So this couldn't get simpler. And I'm just really happy I decided to stick it through and not just give up. I know you have all been there. You guys have been telling me since that Tati video how frustrated you get, especially if you have hooded eyes. I've been there too. I was there this morning and some Sometimes you just have to remind yourself minimal makeup is sometimes a little bit better, especially in those situations. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, go ahead and keep watching. I just put my earrings in and look at how beet red that ear is. I have the world's most sensitive ears. I had to have my first hole pierced four times until it finally decided, okay, I'll stick around and not close. I had to have the second holes pierced twice before they stayed around, had my third hole pierced was so uncomfortable, I had to take it out. And then anytime I put an earring in, my ear just becomes like bright red. So ignore that, hopefully it'll go away throughout the video. All right, first things first, if you wanna prime your face, go ahead and prime. I just use my Embryo Lease Moisturizer when I got ready, so I don't feel the need to do that. When I know I'm going in with makeup right after I'm doing like my skincare, I always use my Embryo Lease because it works really well as a primer, and then I can just completely knock out the step of priming. But go ahead and prime your face with whatever you're comfortable with, and then we're gonna go in with foundation. I'm using the NYX Born to Glow Nude. You guys know, I've been so obsessed with this, especially in these winter months when it's a little bit colder. So I'm gonna just grab my Sigma F80 and I'm gonna apply that. I'm really gonna fast forward through most of these like skin steps because I'm doing the same exact routine I did in my everyday makeup routine. So do whatever works for you here, but if you are interested in seeing this like more in depth, go and check out that video. You know the deal, right after I apply my base, I just take whatever's left over on the back of my hand and then I press everything in to make sure we don't have any brush strokes left on the face. I don't know why when I say brush strokes, I have to really emphasize it, otherwise it turns into like breath strokes. Next up, Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Nude, just a touch under the eyes. I'm also gonna take that right there because I have a little friend right there and I don't use a concealer that's way too light for me. If you do use a concealer that's too light, don't cover any blemishes with that. You'll want to cover that with a concealer that matches your skin tone because we don't want to highlight those little friends. Next up, Ilia Soft Focus Setting Powder. I'm just going to hold my compact up, look up so there's no creases and lightly set under the eye. I do not bake under my eye. I just really lightly press a small amount under the eyes and then around the nose area a little bit in the winter since I tend to sniffle a lot and I have pretty bad allergies. So I just really lightly want to go in. I could see that there's some creases that have formed in just the short amount of time of me talking. So make sure you really blend those out before you set. So around the nose, I'm just going to take that tiny amount and just press right in. I don't even want to say what I think that looks like. Red Ear is still going strong, but let's move on to the next step. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush 
flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder <laughs> number one on a big fluffy brush just a touch and I'm just gonna set around the perimeter of my face so all the rest of my makeup blends over and I just think this gives you a really really pretty finish <laughs> an airbrush finish I do avoid my nose though because I have very dry nose in general, so I don't put any powder on there. Otherwise, it looks even more dry than it already is. Next up, bronzer blush highlight. I'm using my Becca Chloe Malika. I have re-fallen in love completely with this palette. This winter, ignore my eyelids. We'll fix those later. I'm not gonna set them because we're going in with cream products today, but I'm gonna go in with this bronzer, and then I'm also gonna take a little bit of my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It in number one. Like I talked about in that video, I have just been loving these two bronzers together so I'm going to apply the bronzer the blush and the highlight again if you want to see all of that in more detail just check out my most recent like my everyday makeup I am following the exact same steps one thing I do want to add here though that I don't do in my everyday is contour just a tiny bit so this is my NYX three steps to sculpt this is the light version I'm just going to take a touch of the contour be careful with this because it is so pigmented like you really just need a tiny tiny amount and this is my MAC 165 brush and I'm just gonna tuck that like right in the most deep contour of my cheek that's what I'm trying to say here like I really knocked a lot of that off and that went on way way too heavy so I'm gonna have to blend that out a little so just be really careful with this stuff it's really really nice but so pigmented. Okay, so now that I have the contour on, I'm gonna jump back into that Becca palette and do the blush and the highlight. Face is done, that literally took me 10 minutes. It's so fast. So now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. This is just the NYX Bear With Me. And this just kind of takes any powdery look down. So I like to do this right before I go in and do my brows. All right, base is good to go. Now we're gonna move on to the eyebrows. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you know how much I used to love using eyebrow powders and only eyebrow powders. So I wanna do that again. I have the Anastasia Medium Brown Brow Powder and I'm just gonna go in with that. If you've been with me for a while, you know I've been loving the ColourPop Brow Boss in taupe on like the inner portion of the brow and then the Maybelline Ultra Slim on the outer portion, but I just wanna try this and see if I like it. I'm constantly trying new things so then I forget about my old loves, so we'll see how this goes. All right, that was ridiculously easy and I think that looks really good and really soft. Like. There's the undone brow, and that is just brow powder, so I think we might be switching back to brow powder for a while. And then I'm just going to set those up with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Set. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that looks. Alright, so let's get started on the eyeshadow. This couldn't be simpler, and this is my go-to for holiday time, especially when I'm having a hard time with my hooded eyes. I've been trying to do eyeshadow all day today, and it's just not a good shadow day for me, and that happens sometimes. Sometimes I get super frustrated, and I'm just like, forget it. And my go-to is to use one to two shadows to give me a really pretty, just simple effect, and you guys are going to love this. So today I'm using the Believe Beauty Glimmer... Glimmer pots, just like I was calling the Tati Shadows Glimmer. Maybe that's where I got this. But anyway, this is the Glimmer Pots Gel to Powder Eyeshadow in Girl Talk. If you guys don't know what Believe Beauty is, it's the Dollar General makeup line, and I love so many of their things, especially, I tried to like mesh too many words into one there, especially their lipsticks. They're like my go-to, but I really like these as well. Elf makes a very similar version. That's actually what I was looking for, like the Elf paint pot type of thing in like the burgundy color but I must have gotten rid of it a while back when it dried out so we're gonna use this one today you could also use the ColourPop Super Shock shadows those work really well I think I'm actually gonna layer over this because the ColourPop really gives you like a beautiful kind of glitter effect which is always kind of reminiscent of holiday time so all I'm gonna do is start to work this right onto the lid and as you blend these up I'm just using my Sigma small blend from their practic line their sister brand as you blend these up they just start to like basically create their own crease color so it's super simple so when you're having a hard time with eyeshadow go and just grab one of your cream eyeshadows or just grab one sole eyeshadow and you will be good to go. It takes no time and it gives you a beautiful effect. And anything burgundy for me around holiday time is just like perfect. So 
just gonna kind of work this up right into the crease area if you guys haven't seen by the way my favorite brushes for hooded eyes video check that out i'll link it down below and maybe up here as well but i use those brushes all the time this is one of them you guys will notice after you watch that oh yeah she does use that brush she does use that brush that's why she uses that brush so this is like a multi-purpose brush i mentioned it in that video it just gets things on the eyes so easy you can you know swipe with it you can blend with it it's a really really nice brush and it's super affordable you can also apply these with your fingers as well which is even more helpful around holiday time when you're traveling and you don't have all your brushes with you when i'm traveling for work i always grab at least one cream shadow to just get things on and get out the door so you see how as I blended the edges here, it almost looks like I applied a crease color, but I didn't. I think that's because as you blend it out, some of the shadow is kind of taken away, obviously, as you're blending, and it's taking away like the sheen. So it just leaves what looks like a natural crease color, and I think that's so stunning. So at this point, you could just go in and deepen up the lid as much as you want. So I'm just going to add a little more on the lid with my finger so it looks even more like it's diffused as it goes up, but just do whatever you're comfortable with. If you wanted to go in with a crease color at this point, you totally could. If you wanted to deepen the corners, you could do that with a darker shadow as well. Do whatever you're comfortable with. I just really like effortless beauty, which is exactly what this shadow reminds me of. It almost looks like wet lid but this stays put all day and i just think it's such a beautiful holiday color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a clean brush this is just my wet and wild p20 brush again i talk about this brush in that video and i'm really just going to work on feathering those edges this has nothing on it at all just whatever's left over from blending this and i'm really going to feather those edges out so it kind of blends into nothing and then we're going to go in with a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. And then we're going to kind of stamp that on the eye so you get a little bit of glitter. You could totally leave it like this and bring it under the eyes. You know what? Let's actually do that right now. I'm just going to grab a pencil brush, my MAC 219. Same Believe Beauty Pot Shadow Glimmer. Glimmer, right? Yeah, Glimmer. So now that I need to say Glimmer, I'm not saying Glimmer. I'm just going to really nicely work that right under the eye. I don't want to smoke it out too much, just a little. All right, so that is seriously it when it comes to the eyes. It can't get easier. It's so pretty. It's really effortless. I know I keep saying that, effortless beauty, but that's just, I think that's so pretty and it works on like everybody and you could definitely do it. One shadow, pretty much only one brush if you wanted to. You could have just squeezed the Sigma brush if you wanted to and went under the eyes. I have a pencil brush in front of me, so obviously I'm going to use that, but let's go ahead and take this up a notch. I'm going to use my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Set to the Sun. I have sequin right here as well, but I think Set to the Sun is going to work a little bit better. You could go in with the Tati Beauty glitters at this point if you wanted to. You have a nice base there for them to grab to. I also have the Essence Metal Shock eyeshadows. I like these as well. They're really pigmented, really beautiful. You can find these in Ulta stores, but they're not online anymore. And then if you had the Steel of Magnificent Metals, you could go in with that as well. But I personally like, for my hooded eyes, the ColourPop the best. I feel like it stays the longest and it looks the best and it doesn't flake on me and I can blend it without having glitter fall all over. So I'm taking that on my ring finger and I'm going to just press that all over the lid just to kind of step it up to that like holiday glitter type of look that we all like. But feel free to just leave it at the Believe Beauty shadow if you wanted to. But like you can see just how much like more glam that makes it with like minimal effort. I love it, so pretty. And I'm really just kind of leaving that on my mobile lid. So my natural crease is like right there and that's pretty much where I'm keeping most of the color. Like when I dip, I place my finger on the lid first and then I'll just kind of tap up so it looks nice and blended. So, so pretty, I love it. All right, I'm even gonna grab my little AOA Studio E134 brush and I'm gonna dip into that ColourPop shadow and I'm gonna work that under the eye as well because I want glitter everywhere right now. I'm also gonna grab the highlight from the Becca palette and just quickly throw that in the inner corner. 
I would bathe in this palette if I could, literally. I can't believe I don't have a backup, so I really hope they come out with another version of this sometime soon because it's my absolute favorite. Look at my eyes. They literally look wet. This is two shadows. I, I can't get over how pretty this is. I think it's stunning. So I'm just going to grab that Wet n Wild P20 once again, and now I'm just going to blend the edges a little bit. I just want to make sure that everything is super seamless. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, and if you think like too much glitter is going to drop down, really it doesn't. I don't know how that Super Shock formula works, but it's amazing. So I'm just going to make sure everything is really seamless. I cannot get over how beautiful that is and how that's literally one cream eyeshadow plus a cream glitter over that. So pretty. So I'm going to go in and just really tightly line like a little tiny micro wing. I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio in Blackest Black and my Sigma Winged Liner E06 brush. All right, liner's on. So I'm just going to take a black shadow. This is from a Wet n Wild palette. This would actually be a really pretty shade to deepen up the outer corner as well. And again, on that same brush, I'm just going to go right over the liner just to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere throughout the night. Also, as you can see, the closer I get in to my inner corner, I bring it down farther and farther. So I'm barely even on my actual mobile lid on the inner corner. That's pretty much just right at my lash line. All right, liner is good to go. That'll look a lot better when we have our lashes on right now. It looks a little bit harsh. This is gonna make it even look more harsh, but one of you asked how I like push liner, black liner up to my lower waterline. So same black liner. I'm just gonna take that same Sigma E06 look up and then I just press it right at the lower lash line. And this just makes it look like I have a fuller, once I have my mascara on, it makes me look like my lower lash line is a little more like full. I'm just gonna do that like three-fourths of the way in. And it's gonna look weird right now, but don't worry, when we have everything on, it's gonna come together. I'm also just gonna take that AOA Studio brush and really kind of lightly hit the edges of where I just placed the black shadow so it looks really blended and soft. Final touch, I'm taking this Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil and are you nude? Silky nude, not just nude, silky nude. And I'm gonna run that along the lower waterline. Look at the difference and how much more like wide and bright that makes my eye look, it's amazing. All right, so I'm gonna hop off here and I'm gonna apply some of my Kiss Lash Trios. I have a whole video on this. This was like one of my most viewed videos when I first started. These are like my favorite individual, even though it's like a lash trio. Lashes, they're so easy to use. If you are a beginner with lashes, try these, they're amazing. So I like to go in with the mediums and the shorts and extra shorts. So I kind of just go like, medium, medium, short, medium, short, medium. I just kind of change them up so I have some dimension. So I have a little video on that, so I'm not gonna do it on camera. Check out that video. But if you guys want like a more in-depth video on this, just let me know below. So I'm gonna do all that and I'll be right back here. All right, lashes are on and the liner got a little out of hand, but out of hand in a way that I think it looks really pretty. This is a bit thicker than I normally go. I touched over the lashes after I put the lashes on just so everything was really blended and it ended up getting a little thick, but I think it's really pretty. So I'm a little bit torn right now on what lipstick to use, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go in with this one because it's gonna match the eyes really well. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick. But you know what? I think I remember this not being extremely pigmented. So I'm going to start with this e.l.f. Touch of Pink lipstick just to get some hydration under and like a color just in case that's not as pigmented as I remember. Pink is like the new red for me for holiday. I've just been all over pink lately. So I don't want like a ton of pigment there. I just want a little bit and I'm eating my hair right now. So now I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild High Shine Liquid Lipstick in Petal Poison. 
Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I don't think it's totally necessary to wear a color under this, to be honest. All right, you guys, the lips are done, and this is the completed look. I am so happy with how this turned out. I'm so glad I didn't give up on my shadow today and just completely say, screw it, I'm not doing a makeup look today. Sometimes we just need to be reminded to bring it back to basics. So I hope this video was helpful to some of you. If you guys have any questions, as always, please let me know down below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram as well. I will always let you know on Instagram when I post a new video. Sometimes YouTube lets you know, sometimes it doesn't let you know, so I always like to let you guys know on Instagram. So I hope this video was helpful, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.